the Ultra Gear 27 GP850 has been a nice monitor for me. I've used it for now a year and I've enjoyed it for a while. I don't know about you guys, but uh, since OLED is now on a hype right now, I'm getting questions in my head if I really need to shift to the OLED hype or if I remain on my Nano IPS or look into something a bit better than the one I currently have. But this is my 27 GP review, one year usage, and uh, let's see how it works out. So when it came to size of the monitor, I was actually coming from a 24 inch and now I loved using 24 inch panels. I just had like two of them, one portrait, one landscape, and I loved it. But I was like, let me try out 27 inch monitors and see what they really bring to the table, especially since this monitor had 1440p down to the resolution. And it was going to be my first high end performance 165 has and above monitor. I got the monitor, it was really huge. You know, when the eyes look at a 27 inch panel, it's really huge until you get used to it. But 1440p on 27 inch panel has really been nice for me over the years. And currently now when I look at it, even just behind me, it looks smaller than the way I first saw it. Let me talk about the refresh rate over the period of time I've used it. As games have gotten and better and improved, like I played Pex Legends and Call of Duty, 165 has one year back, one and a half years back was really something. 180 has, by then 240s had already come out actually but it was difficult to get a 1440p 240 1440p uh let's say 300 they are really very pricey compared to how they are right now when all it's out and i enjoyed this i was using a 3080 ti at the time now i'm using a 3070 and uh, i love the way these cards were pushing this panel 165 has of course on low settings come on <laughs> i wasn't playing in ultra and uh, i had no problems when i was overclocking to 180 has the panel didn't uh, get issues no sorts of overheating on the panel or anything like that but i enjoyed it and over the time i actually thought overclocking it would spoil it but overclocking 180 has, has done really nothing with it so i've had no bad experience with it let's talk about the panel i love lg's nano ips's but uh, i really love the way this panel is placed the red is when you're playing games the way apex legends looks like or fortnite or some games that really depend on color when i'm editing when i'm doing uh when I'm doing like color correction in DaVinci Resolve, for the years of you, for the years I've used this monitor, it has really been beautiful, and I've had no issues with the with the colors or any fringing or any kind of glitches with the panel. I've enjoyed it to the max. Actually, I remember I used to own a 27-inch Omen 27i monitor, very heavy stand, very hard to shift the monitor. By the way, but realized after a while that that 27-inch Omen actually had the same exact panel as this Ultra Gear behind me. So that is something I looked at and I was like, okay. I love the way it is built. I love the way um, the stands by then. Actually, I'm in love with the old stands of Ultra Gear compared to the latest ones that are around. I've not touched the latest ones yet, but I love how the old ones were. Of course, they will take up disk space, but I still like the gamery kind of accents that were on the stands for this. I love the build quality. I love how solid the monitor feels when I'm using it. When I'm trying to shift it to portrait, I'm shifting it to landscape. It is really feels nice. And over the years, I've not put in any cracks or any places where I need to oil it up. As most, right now, most monitors have good um, build quality. And I love the way Ultra Gear did there. As the panel feels very solid, even after this period of time. Let's get into the cons of the monitor. The only strong con that I can talk about about this monitor is the IPS glow. You can see it. Especially if you're like watching a movie from a distance, you can see the IPS glow in the dark. But when it is during like day, like uh, the time I'm shooting it right now, it's like around 10 in the morning. You don't really see it that much. You can play your games, you can uh, watch your movies, but if you're watching, if you're playing games where there's a lot of dark scenes, you will see, like mine, the IPS glow is at the bottom and some corners, but it's not that strong that it is very uncomfortable for me that I need to really sell the monitor or give it away. I love the way it doesn't really interrupt my gaming, but uh, if you're a person who's really icky about uh, IPS glow, yeah, you'll see it, you'll notice it a bit when you're sitting far away from it or you're playing in the night and you're playing really dark, dark, dark scenes, yeah. But if you pass it because of the colors and the way it displays, you really, it really doesn't bother me. If you, if it bothers you, we can just drop in the comments down there. Everything else, I'm fine with it. The wear and tear, the panel really holds for a very long time. 
I've not seen any problem. I always change it to portrait landscape all the time whenever I'm taking out other monitors, but I've had no issues with the, the way the design is built. It is very strong and it's nice to feel and nice to have. Even the boxing, the packaging alone is really solid the way it comes when you buy it from the store. So summarizing all of this, it's a beautiful monitor, displays well, 8-bit panel by the way. I mean, I put that there, displays well. I've had no issues with it. I love the 165 has that overclocks to 180. I'm in love with HDR. Not the best, but the HDR is noticeably good. I love uh, the space, the 27 inch size. If your person is coming from like 12 foot, 24 inch, the usability of it, very simple to connect. It has USBs at the back, supports DP, it supports uh, HDR. So the GP850 is a nice monitor to start with from LG, Ultra Gear lineup. It's an old model, yes, but it's beautiful. It's nice to have a second monitor if you're going to buy like an OLED or something bigger or better, like 360 hours. It's nice to have as a, as a main panel. I've had no issues with it. The only disadvantage is the IPS glow. You know, IPS screens always have that. But apart from that, it is a really beautiful, a really beautiful panel to really have on you. In case you guys have questions, drop them in the comments. Let's discuss. But I'm not a professional monitor review. There are guys who do it better than me. But this is my own opinion on this panel and I love it. So let's discuss in the comments. Tell me what you guys like. Tell me what panels are using. Tell me your bad experiences with this exact panel or an IPS related to it. Let's discuss this and uh, hopefully I'll drop another video. Either I know it, you never know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.